Hey there everybody, I'm Lee Williamson and I'm from Elemental Concept. Today we're going to learn how to make a procedural tiling infinite texture in After Effects. Whew, red lorry, yellow lorry, that was quite difficult to say. Without further ado, let's dig in. Right, so let's show you how I made a uh, blueprint grid in After Effects for this project. Create a new composition. Uh, choose 80 by 80. Uh, let's just zoom into that a bit. And then we look under effects preset and look for grid. Oh, wait. First, create a new adjustment layer. So, press on the comp. New adjustment layer. And we can call this big grid. And then we drag the grid on here. And we set this to normal. And let's make this color 062749. So it's a nice blue color. Uh, we can make the border three. And we can change this to width slider and we can change this width to 40. So you've got four panels. And then I'm gonna take this grid and I'm gonna duplicate it. So Control C, Control V, and we'll call this one small grid. And for small grid, I'm gonna make the um, width on the width slider 10 and we can change the border to one and the opacity to 50. So now we've got a, a thinner set of lines. Uh, tell you what, let me just create a new solid, a white solid, just so you can actually see what's going on. Let me just call this background. And then we can duplicate this big grid again. Uh, control C, Control V, move to the top and call this one cross. And then with cross, I left it on 40 and I made the border about 60. But this time around, I just wanted a little cross in the end there. So I've got my uh, rectangular tool and I double click on it and it creates a mask. Uh, and if I unexpand um, a mask, and click on mask path. I can press Control T on the keyboard and it gives me my uh, mask transform tool. And then I hold Shift Control and I drag that down, that mask down until it is roughly over those four panels. Um, it's not come out as smooth as I'd like it to. So let me just line this up a little bit better. There we go. Same on the side. Perfect. Right, now I have my tile. So I'm going to call my composition tile. And I'm going to create a new composition with that tile in. And I'm going to change this composition to 1920 by 1080 HD dimension. And this time around, I'm going to use a uh, repper tile. So let me just type in tile. So we've got CC Repertile, and I'm going to drop it on there. And then all I have to do now is you, uh, under CC Repertile, you've got to expand right, left, up, and down. So what happens is as I drag this number down, it expands the tiles to the right, to the left, down, and up. So let's just put them all to a, a thousand. A thousand, uh, that's a hundred. No. A thousand. And put this one to a thousand. Fantastic. Now all I need to do is say new null object. And I can parent this tile to the null. And then all I need to do is move the null around and we can animate this tile. Now, if you don't have enough tiles in the left, you just go back to your tiles and just scale this up. So we could just put the, the left one to say, 2000 and I want to 2000 
And now when I click up that now and I move it around, we've got this lovely animatable tile. And then all we need to do is press T on the keyboard and bring the opacity down because, uh, ooh, no, let's first create a new solid and drag that below the tile and then press T on the keyboard and bring the opacity down. So let's say 30. And there we go, all sorted. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks again, bye.